little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, so this is a late night filming. I know you're seeing this during the daytime, but we are currently filming at almost midnight tonight. That's why we brought the mic closer to, because just in case I need to like increase the volume, you guys can still hear us, you know, fairly well. So this is Soda Pop Challenge Part 2, but it's like a part 1 of 2, part 2. Okay, so I bought a lot of root beer, and I mean like 11 bottles of root beer, and it's oh. just... It's just way too much root beer, like what hubby figured out, is it's way too much root beer to get through in one night. So we're going to do five root beers today and six uh, root beers. You'll be seeing that tomorrow. So what hubby is going to do is he's going to guess the brand of root beer that he is drinking because he loves root beer. So... He, he's going to try and guess out of five options. So his five options, I wrote them down, are Creamy Red Birch Beer, Suey City Star Saparilla, Viego Original Root Beer, Jones Root Beer, and Dang That's Good Root Beer. So that's the five we're doing today. Then once he tries to get, guess all the brands, we're going to rank them from best root beer to worst root beer. And then tomorrow we're going to do the same thing with the other six root beers, which are Dr. Brown's Original Roof Root Beer, Oh So Butterscotch Root Beer, Interesting. Jackson Hole Soda's Snake River Sarsaparilla. They spell it Sarsaparilla. That's how it looks. Is it supposed to be pronounced as Sarsaparilla? Yeah, it's probably Sarsaparilla. sarsaparilla. Then there's a Buckin Root Beer. Then there's another Buckin. There's two. There's two of the same one. That's fine. Well, then we'll just do five tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll save that one for myself. And then last but not least, we have Earp's Original Sarsaparilla. A lot of sarsaparillas. I like sarsaparilla. A lot of Okay, good. so put your blindfold on. So some of these were twists off, which hubby was nice enough to twist off. I have very weak fingers. I cannot do that <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay. So while he's putting that on, um, so tomorrow you're going to see part two, two of the root beer tasting. And then... The day after, you're going to see me do a cake soda pop taste test challenge type thing. And then, uh, I don't know when, but at some point we're going to do like a nasty food soda thing that we're going to buy. We're getting all of these sodas from a place called um, Rockstar, is that what it's called? Rocket Fizz. Rocket Fizz. It's called Rocket Fizz. It's a really cool soda place that, um, I don't know if they have like multiple stores, but we have one here at the Spectrum in Irvine and it's delish. Alright guys, so we're going to start him out this root beer right here. So I wrote these down because I'm gonna give him the options that he has to pick from these root beers. So we're gonna have him guess for the first four. Once we get down to the final two, he's gonna have to figure out which root beer is which. So here's your first one. Okay, so your options are Creamy Red Birch Beer, Suey City Sarsaparilla, Fago Original Root Beer, Jones Root Beer, or Dang That's Good Root Beer. Dang That's Good Root Beer? Nope, I'll give you one more shot. Jones? Nope, it is the sarsaparilla. Damn. Well, it tastes good though. Alright, next we're gonna give him this root beer. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Huh. Okay, so your options are creamy red birch beer, Fago original root beer, Jones's root beer, or Dane that's good root beer. The red birch one. That's correct. Next root beer we're going to give him is this one. Here you go, babe. <laughs> he looks confused. <laughs> okay, so your options are Fago Original Root Beer, Jones's Root Beer, or Dang, That's Good Root Beer. Dang, That's Good Root Beer. That's right. Holy shit, good job, sweetie. Now we're down to our last two, which is going to be Jones's Root Beer and the Fago Original Root Beer. You're going to have to guess which one is which. I'll be so disappointed. Okay, you ready? We're gonna mm -hmm. hand you this one first, and then we're gonna have you do this one. There you go. Try and figure out which one is Jones and which one is Fago. You can drink them, you know, <laughs> to figure it out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, that's not an option. So it's Fago and Jones. Yes. So which one is Fago and which one is Jones? Man, by the time he's done chugging these, we won't be able to do a taste test. <laughs> Fago, Jones. Nope. Jones was in your right hand, Fago was in your left. Oh, so you got four. two out of the five right. Now, are you ready to rank them? Uh, After you're done self-loathing? Uh, <laughs> oh, you did a 
good job. Don't get all meh. I can't believe I couldn't taste Jones. Well, let's rank all of these. You want to put your glasses back on? Mm -hmm. So we're going to rank these from one to five. One being the worst beer, root beer. Five being the best root beer. So I think what we should taste test first is creamy red one. birch beer. This is a one for you? No, not number one. Oh, <laughs> so we have to agree on this ranking. That does taste sweet. It's really good. It's good. I definitely taste the creaminess, and it's def it's like I can see by the bubbles, it's got that red hint. That's probably the mm -hmm. obviously the red birch. It's not bad. The reason why I like this one is because it tastes just like the little barrel candies. Yeah. That's why. You know, we'll put that in the middle for now because we don't really have anything else to base it off of, so that's our three for now. Okay, so next we're going to do the sarsaparilla. That one definitely has a different taste. It's not as sweet. But it definitely, like, it, the sarsaparilla at Knott's is sweeter than that. Oh, you're right. It's not as sweet. It's not as sweet. I mean, for me, that's good because I'm not really into sweet. It is. But I think in terms of root beer, when you think root beer, you think, I mean, I think the only reason, like, I think the only way I'd really think of sweet when it comes to root beer is, like, cherry root beer. And this one, I think I'd rank it below a three. I think this one, I'd make it, like, a, a two. Hmm. Not one of my favorites. What do you think? Three. Like, but this would be your three? <clears throat> this would be three for me. Like, it's not too sweet, but... It's still pretty good. So I guess we're not going to agree on all of these. Okay. Well, the creamy birch one. Let's go back to it. Hang on. So this, the suey sarsaparilla for me was a two. I guess you ranked it a three. So I guess we're not going to do it based on agreement. We're just going to rank it on our own from one to five. Why don't we just add it? No, I mean like, because if I'm rating that, like, okay, I'm thinking like instead of it being like we rank these from one to five individually, we just kind of like taste them and then our scale of one to five on mm. our own personal scale okay in terms of the red birch <coughs> it's Excuse good me. i think i definitely rate it above the sarsaparilla so i'm gonna give that one my three what would you rate it five what's That'd wrong be your with you five? wow what is wrong with you i think i just have had high standards when it comes to root beer high standards so this one is the fago original root beer that one's different from both of them and that one kind of reminds me of a and w root beer Oh my goodness, you're right. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna rank that a four. That one's really good. Oh god, it does taste like it. I'm gonna rank that a four. What about you? Four. Four. Do you still think the creamy red birch is the best? Yes. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> So next one we're doing is Jones' soda. I've never had a Jones soda. Ever. I've had a whole mess of Jones soda. The blue one, the green one, the Ooh. orange one. That's too sweet. No, it's it's like um is it weird to say it has like a hickory flavor? Almost like smoky. Smoky. Well, okay, it's like it's not sweet, but it's got like this weird aftertaste. What did you do? There's foam everywhere. I don't know. That one had a weird taste to me, for me. I don't know if it's maybe just the sudden burst of cane sugar versus like the other types of sugar that are in mm -hmm. there probably it I, mean, I don't taste any smoke in this i just taste it's probably sweet. just a weird aftertaste for me then i'm gonna give that one another two it's not my personal favorite three i like three. it but it's not all the way up there all right and last but not least we're tasting the dang that's good root beer so hopefully it is good root beer that one tastes very similar to the sarsaparilla actually yeah it does mm -hmm. and it's gluten free oh is it <laughs> not as sweet Definitely yeah, not as sweet. That, honestly, I don't mind. I'm not, ooh, that's caffeine free. That's awesome. Hmm. This one, this one I drank a three. It's very neutral for me. I mean, I'm not like an expert when it comes to root beer or anything, but this is just based on like how all of these taste to me. What do you think? Actually, same as you. Three. three. All right, guys. So overall, the best root beer here is by Collective by collective, we have a tie. It's between the birch. Fago root Final beer Fago. and the creamy red birch. Our two top picks for this one. Though my top was definitely the Fago original. As your personal favorite? This one. These are really good. I wonder how the rest are gonna taste. I'm sur I'm kind of curious about the butterscotch one. Yeah, because that one's definitely gonna have a different taste than like the rest of the the root beers. There's butterscotch in it. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I guess we'll see what happens. We shall see. But I really recommend you guys get these. They come in like a, a huge case. It's a little pricey, but I say it's worth it. I mean, 
it's root beer. If you like root beer, you'd like this. I mean, I'm not, I used to drink root beer a lot as a kid. That'd be like the only soda I get when I go to like fast food places, like McDonald's and Carl's Jr. and all of that. This would be like the only drink I'd get, but I think I drank it so often that I just ended up hating it. I mean, I don't drink it as much anymore. Like I only drink like Sprite if I really get like a, a soda, you know? Yeah, nowadays I would just really only get Sprite. I don't really get any other drink. I mean, sometimes I'll drink like a Diet Coke here at home if we don't have Sprite. Like, like yesterday I wanted a Sprite with our... Excuse me. Like yesterday I wanted a Sprite with our five guys, but there was no Sprite. There was only Diet Coke. I was sad. Mm. I wanted a Sprite. Pobrecita. All right, guys. So like I said, tomorrow you're going to be seeing part two of the root beer tasting. We're going to be tasting five of them since I guess there's a duplicate in here. Uh, And the day after, you'll be seeing um, the cake, the cake one. So I think we have like key lime, well, they're not all cakes, they're pies. So you have like birthday cake, coffee cake, key lime pie, lemon pie, carrot cake. I think that's it. Coffee cake, birthday cake, carrot cake, uh, key lime (coughs) pie, and lemon pie. I think that's all of them. I think it wouldn't be too hard for me to figure all that out, just because I figured all of those are like have very distinct flavors. You'd be surprised how hard it is. You really think so? I couldn't figure out it was grass for a well, while. Well, it didn't taste like grass. It tasted like apple. It tasted like green apple smeared off. Green? No, the green apple. Um, oh, what are those? The green apple. Um, the hard candies. Jolly Ranchers. Jolly. That's what it tasted like. It was the green apple Jolly Ranchers? That's what it tasted like. But, I mean, like, I wouldn't blame you. Like, I, I couldn't guess grass from that either. I took one sip. I was like, this is so not grass. Grass is not this sweet. Like, yeah. I mean, you, have you, like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've de- dove face first in, like, grass before when you're playing with, like, your cousins or your siblings or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the grass did not taste sweet. <laughs> no. No. But no. then again, it's a soda. There's supposed the to be sugar. sweet. I don't know. I mean, like, well, well, with the sodas that they advertise on that website, it's... They got the different types of sodas. They got like the barf soda. Hang on, I'm gonna pull up the site with. I'm gonna read you guys what these people have in terms of soda. It's the it Rocket Fizz. It's Rocket Fizz. So there's a barf one. From what I read. No. Yes. Just no. Never did find it. Oh, there's a lot. Like what? There's Australian style hot ginger ale. Alien snot. What the? Worm ooze, fungal fruit, dog drool, bug barf, kitty piddle, monster mucus, swamp juice, zombie brains, unicorn yak, toxic slime, barf, what? butter, butter, holiday soda, candy cane, cock, cold, <laughs> cock, cold. <laughs> what the heck does that taste like? Chicken? Cock. Chum Lee has his own root beer. If you guys don't know who Chum Lee is, you guys clearly don't watch Pawn Stars. They got Holiday Christmas Mint, Coconut Cream Lime, Co- co- Ooh. Cookie Dough. The Cookie Dough Bites! Okay, if you guys have ever been to a movie theater, which I'm sure most of you have, they have these little things called Cookie Dough Bites, like that are dipped in chocolate. So good. If you mix them in with your popcorn, it gets that sweet, salty taste. It's mm. okay. mm-hmm. They also have Cookies and Cream Bites. Interesting. Cream my people. What? What? What is it? Co- what the heck is that? There's also red velvet. I've never had a red velvet cupcake cookie dough bite. What is it? Fudge brownie cookie dough bites. I've had those. They're not as good as the cookie dough bites, the regular Death ones. Death Valley black cherry. That probably just tastes like black cherry. That's cola, cream, root beer, orange cream, sour green apple, hmm. sarsaparilla, Dirt, dirt soda, doomsday lemonade, <laughs> Farrah faucet cream soda, fairy princess Shirley Temple, double barrel root beer growler, banana, 64 banana. ounces. That's like a jug. Oh, goodness. They have, yeah, Fidel Castro's Havana banana, orange and cream. Oh, yes. Fur, fro stop root beer, gold mine root beer, Gene Autry root beer, caramel cream soda. You'd love that one. Would it? It's caramel. It's a joke. Oh, oops. Yeah, a lot of sarsaparillas. There's chocolate. Chocolate soda, chocolate mm-hmm. soda with strawberry, chocolate soda with peanut butter, with banana. There's the grass soda. Gross Gus Bloody Nose. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dinosaur dung. 
Pirate Piss, Pimple Pop, Dragon Drool, Handcrafted Special Reserve Black Cherry, Root Beer, Vanilla Cream Soda, John Lemonade, get it like John Lennon, mm-hmm. John Five Limeade, John Five, yes. There's a Root Beer Float, Root Beer, King Kong Cola, oh Kiss has their own cola. They have Kiss Army Root Beer. Labrador All Natural Chocolate Soda, Kiss Destroyer Cola, Kiss Rock and Roll Over Cherry Cola. Bacon soda. Yeah, there's the bacon soda. They got a, they got butterscotch with cream. Chocolate. Yeah, there's one with chocolate. Bacon with Blue Cream Soda. This one's Fixin's bacon with maple syrup. <gasps> cucumber. Why do I have a feeling I'd like the cucumber one? There's Something. coffee. Buffalo wing. Oh, God. Maple syrup, mustard, peanut Those butter, and jelly. I'm going to drink. Ranch, pumpkin pie, pickle flavor. Oh, no. Sweet corn. Oh, Marilyn Monroe has her own lemonade. I can already tell you're going to have fun with that. There's like birthday cake. That's what I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying birthday cake, apple pie, uh, carrot cake, lemon meringue, I think strawberry cake, key lime pie, coffee cake, and peaches and cream. Those are the ones I'm trying. Apparently, you can also get butterscotch candies and cherries and cream. Hmm. Why wasn't I offered that one? Good lord. Yeah, guys, there's like a lot of sodas on this site that I highly recommend you try. If not for the flavor, just for the hell of it. Because this this thing is just nuts. It is nuts. I don't know if you can actually buy it from this site. That thing, that you guys would actually have to <coughs> look up for yourself. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We'll see you tomorrow when we try the rest of the sodas and i'll see you guys later bye little skeletons stay safe i love you guys